five kilogram steel ball is dropped onto a copper plate from a height of 10 meters. If the ball leaves a dent of 3.20 millimeter feet, what is the average force exerted by the plate on the ball during the impact? Okay, so that's just dent. Dent. So we have a ball. It starts up here. At some initial position, which is at 10.0 meters above the ground, it comes down and it's going to make a dent in the ground, end up down here, and we know the depth of that dent. And the question is, what? I'm sorry, what was the question again? There, what we look for? Um, what is the average force exerted by the plate on the ball? All right. So the the force applied by the plate on the ball equals question mark on average. Thoughts on how to solve this problem? Uh, um, well, we need to find like the velocity at which we hit. Down. Okay. So what we could do is we could use. Uh, we could do, at this point we haven't done any energy yet, so we could do uh, UAM and free fall to figure out the velocity final right before it strikes. Uh, ground. Or I, I suppose it's like a copper plate or something like that. True. What would we do after that? But Well, that would be your velocity initial for the dent you know the space that it went through, uh -huh. you find the acceleration. We could use UAM then to figure out the acceleration while making the dent. Good. What could we do after that? UAM. Yes, Trevor? Uh, use that to find the force. You could figure out the net force, that's equal to mass times acceleration, that would be equal to something with a free body diagram, et cetera, et cetera. Note the multitude of steps. We're not going to do it that way. We're going to use the equation that we derived last time that I said is oft neglected and is not on your equation sheet. Nick. Network equals energy. The network equals the change in kinetic energy. For those of you who were not here last time, you need to make sure you get somebody's notes on that. This is an equation that we derived last time and is, as I said, often neglected and not on your equation sheet. And yes, you should have it memorized. And yes, you may simply write it down if you're going to use it. You do not need to derive it. It is way too long. And it's, it's a, such a common equation. All right, so here we go. Network equals changing kinetic energy. Here's our initial position. Here's our final position. What is our kinetic energy final for the uh, Five kilogram mass. Um, Dorset. I'll rephrase. What's the final velocity of the dent? Or I'm sorry, the, of the ball. Yes. What's the initial velocity of the ball? <coughs> no, that would be the kinetic energy. What's the initial velocity? Up there. Door static. That's okay. Help her out, Sierra. What's the initial velocity? Zero. So the network equals zero. That's good. That makes life easier. The network equals zero. Okay. What? Are the forces doing work on the object? Uh, Spencer. What are the, we need to figure out the network. The network is going to be done by which forces? We're trying to figure out which forces do work. Uh, force of gravity. Force of so we're going to have the work done by the force of gravity. Uh, but what's the force that's, that's 
what's the, what do we call the force of impact? Force just, I'm just going to call it the force applied. I suppose we could call it the force normal if we wanted to. We're just going to call it the force applied. Force applied. So the work done by the force applied plus the work done by the force of gravity equals zero. In other words, the work done by the force applied equals the negative of the work done by the force of gravity. The force applied and the force of gravity, are they constant forces or do they change as a function of position? Trap. They are. They are constant, especially considering what they asked us to figure, figure out the average force, so we can just consider it to be a constant force. So we can use the equation for work for a constant force, which is then the force applied times the delta r during the force applied times the cosine of theta for the force applied is equal to the negative of the force of gravity times the displacement when the force of gravity times the cosine theta for the <coughs> force of gravity. Okay, on the left hand side, force applied is what we're solving for the displacement for the force applied. What is the displacement for the force applied? Uh, 3.2 millimeters. 3.2 millimeters, I'm clearly going to convert over to meters, so 0 0.0032 millimeters. Cosine of the angle for the force applied. So class, please point in the direction of the force applied by the copper plate. Direction of the displacement? Angle between up and down? 180. 180. Cosine of 180 equals the negative of the force of gravity. What's the equation for the force of gravity, Pottero. Mass times what? G. The acceleration of gravity, little g. And that's the displacement. And now we need the, the displacement for the force of gravity. What is the displacement for the force of gravity, Tyler? 10 meters. Times the cosine of the angle between the force of gravity and the displacement. What's the angle between the force of gravity and the displacement, Vlad? Zero. Zero. They're both down. So we get that the force applied times 0.0032 times negative 1 equals negative mass was 5 times g, 9.8 times 10. Jenkins. Um, for the displacement, you have the force of gravity. Shouldn't you include the depth from there too? You should. Because the, the force of gravity is applied to the object, I'm sorry, the force of, yeah, force of gravity is applied to the object the whole way. So you do need to include that 3.2 millimeters. 10.0032 cosine zero. Therefore, the force applied equals 5 times 9.8 times 10.0032 divided by 0.0032. So we'll go with three sig figs, 153 kilo newtons. As you can see, we didn't have to do three or four steps depending on how you look at it. We only really needed to do one. one. Uh, why is it the delta R for the force of gravity negative? Why is it the delta R for the force of gravity negative? Fair question. Why is it the delta R for the force of gravity negative? Split. Uh, Jenkins. Delta R is Remember when you're doing the work equation, F delta R times the cosine of theta, you use the magnitude only of the force and the displacement. You use, it's the cosine of the angle that determines whether it's positive or negative. 